In this tutorial I'm going to show a couple of techniques of how you can work on a double page spread. Now here I have two scrapbook pages. This is page one and this is page two. And this is going to form a double page spread in my scrapbook. Now really the first quick tip here is that if you ever want to try to see both pages side by side you can get a really good feel for that simply by resizing this pages tab and you can do that just by hovering your mouse over this grey bar here until you get the two little arrows like that click your mouse and hold onto it and then drag it up and as you can see that increases the preview of your two pages to get a good idea of how they'll look side by side now as you can see here I've got a couple of elements that really should be going across both pages here I've got a shadow that should be getting cast onto this page and here this umbrella I'd really like to be appearing on this page now I find the best way to achieve that is to firstly copy the items from one page to the other. So if I just drag this down again, I'm on page two now. So what I want to do is select this umbrella. I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to go back to page one. And this time I'm going to paste it. What this actually does is paste that umbrella in precisely the same position as what it was on page two. Now, of course, this isn't where I want it on page one. I actually want it on this side of the page. But rather than trying to line things up manually, I can actually make that spot on. And the way that I do that is I actually need to move this umbrella across the page by the same distance as the width of the page. Now, as it happens in this case, I'm working on a 12 inch scrapbook. So to move this umbrella precisely 12 inches across the page, I just need to select it, go down to the Transform tab here, and adjust this X distance. And this is actually telling me how far over this object is, the center of this object, from the left-hand edge of the page. And it says that it's 0.569 inches across. All I need to do is add 12 inches to that. So I'm just gonna go over that zero, type in 12, press Enter, and that then moves it to the precisely the right position. And if I was to drag this page tab up again, now there is a slight optical illusion here because of the gap between the pages, but actually you can see that where that is finishing there is precisely in line with where it's starting on that page. Now, of course, you might want to do it the other way. So in this example, I want to bring this photo here across onto this page so I can get that shadow effect. So I go to my page one, I'll select that image, again I copy it from this page, go to page two, paste it. Now this time I actually need to take away 12 inches from my X distance here. Now unfortunately it doesn't always work out that you've got a nice round number here and so you might need to get your calculator out for this one. So I'm going to type in 9.937 minus 12 inches and that equals minus 2.063 and that's what I now need to type into my X distance here. So I scroll over that, type in minus 2.063, press enter and again that's then moved it the width of the page across and I've now got that shadow being cast on this part, part of the page. And again, I can just drag my pages tab up to get a better view on how it looks as a double page spread. And those items are now perfectly positioned to go across both pages. And a good way to get a really perfect view of how the two pages would, would look side by side is actually to export it as a PDF. And you can do that by going to File, Export, export as PDF. I'm going to do the entire scrapbook. Click OK. Save it to wherever I want on my hard drive. So this has now opened up my scrapbook page in Adobe Reader. Now at the moment you have to view both pages separately, page one and page two. But actually with Adobe Reader if you go to view click page display and then click two up continuous that will actually give you a proper view of how your pages will look side by side 
And as you can see, that shadow and this umbrella are perfectly aligned across the two pages.